Hey guys, it's Gary back for another legal tip today. And today we're talking about the sex offenders list. We've been getting some questions about how to deal with the sex offenders list. What do you particularly do when the next door neighbor is on the list? Do you provide that information to your buyer? How do you provide it and so forth? So let's tack tackle that today. First of all, understand that the sex offender list is public information. So it is not illegal for a real estate agent to provide that information to their client in the uh, real estate transaction. However, you should use extreme caution whenever dealing with the sex offender list because the sex offender list does get updated from time to time. Somebody on the sex offender list could come off for multiple reasons. One could be their case was appealed and they won the appeal and they come off the list. Um, also, sometimes in a criminal negotiation, they may have some type of time frame of which they're going to be on the list and they're not on the list forever. So be careful when you definitively say somebody's on the list because they might not be and that could be slander or, or some type of defamation. So be very careful with that. Also, I would not put a copy of the list on your website or print off copies and hand copies off. Uh, print copies off and hand those to your clients again, because those lists do change. Uh, we actually had a client one time who was printing lists and putting them on her website. Uh, and that does come with extreme uh, risk of liability. What I would talk, uh, tell you to do is that when somebody asks you about the sex offender list, instead of definitively saying, yes, somebody in this neighborhood is on the sex offender list, provide them with a link for them to do their own search. Now, if you know the next door neighbor is on the sex offenders list and this, for example, if this uh, buyer you're working with has young children and the next door neighbor is on the sex offender list as molesting children, then I would not go tell them, hey, the next door neighbor is a sex offender. What I would do is strongly encourage them to look at the sex offender list uh, before putting an offer in this house. And if they still say, well, I'm not really worried about that, I would go as far as pulling up the sex offender list on my phone and say, why don't you type the address in there? Uh, so use your powers of persuasion to basically let them know there's a reason they should be checking this sex offender list. But do not say the next door neighbor is a sex offender. His name is Bob. And this is what he's done, because, again, you're taking on that liability when you're providing that information and that information changes is updated or is simply incorrect. So that is how we deal with the sex offender list provide links. If you know for a fact that the person is on the sex offender list and you're concerned about the people buying a house there, then tell them strongly you advise them to look at the sex offender list before they buy the house and let them pull it up. If they're having difficulty, pull them up, grab their phone, pull it up for them and have them take a look at it. So just be careful because you don't want to find yourself in a situation where you could be uh, have a case against you for defamation uh, particularly when these lists constantly are updated. But again, it is not illegal for you to disclose this information. Uh, it is a public record and it is valuable information that a lot of buyers need. All right, I hope that helps you guys out. Hope you all have a good weekend and we'll see you back here next week again for another legal tip.